This video of the chaos at Eastern High School yesterday has many parents again having a tough conversation with their kids. JCPS says a gun fell out of a backpack during that fight and parents told us it's unfortunately the new norm that can happen anywhere. It's a much quieter day at Eastern High School. I can see it in her eyes when she was talking to me last night. It was scary. Dora McKnight's granddaughter was in her lunch period Monday when the fight broke out. She was in the bathroom about 10 feet away or so from all the commotion. And when she came out, everybody was panicked and running. And when I got home, I, I saw the, the mass of hysteria, you know, that the, the, the lunchroom was going under. Another night, another tough conversation about safety. McKnight says they've had to teach her to be the sense of calm when the commotion is going on. A lesson she says she never thought she'd have to teach. I think with the world as it is, it can happen at the bus stop, at the mall, at the dance hall, taking dance lessons. So I have taught her to have a heightened um, sense of her surroundings, and she did exactly as I had hoped. Eastern High School is not alone. In the first semester, 15 guns were found at Western, Pleasure Ridge Park, Moore, Ballard, Seneca, and Fern Creek. I felt like the school did the best that they could and you know had resolved to that point. Last January, the board passed a nearly $7.3 million school security plan, which included school safety administrators, officers and monitors. Board members say the response at Eastern on Monday shows that new plan is working. We had a school safety administrator there. We had informed, competent, trained adults who immediately responded to the situation and prevent it, uh, a worse situation from happening. James Craig represents District 3, which Eastern High is in. His son also goes to the school. He says no one wants to see guns in schools, but this is a community problem that has to be addressed. So long as guns are so widely accessible in Louisville, they're going to show up inside of JCPS. We just need to be prepared and know how to deal with the situation when it happens. Photojournalist Jeff Gordon helping with helping me with that story today. Many parents have also suggested installing metal detectors. Craig says they talked about that at the meeting in December and the district is evaluating whether it needs metal detectors or should have them in the schools.